Welcome to the Easy Timber How to Install a Fence video. Installing close board fencing is easy when you know how and can provide a strong, easily maintained privacy screen ideal for boundaries. In this video we will show you how to install a feather edged fence. Make sure you've got the right tools for the job. You will need a tape measure, spirit level, string, claw hammer, end seal preservative, a brush, saw, cordless drill or automated nailer, galvanised nails or wood screws, post mix cement, spade, easy fence materials and of course a mug of tea. Before you get started, if you're planning a boundary fence make sure you discuss any plans with your neighbours. Clear the area by removing any vegetation and mark out where the fence will go by pegging out a string line. Posts should ideally be no more than 2.4 metres apart. The most common approach is to space at 1.8 metres. Installing your fence posts. Firstly, to guarantee a long-lasting fence, ensure you've bought Easy Post 15 in-sized fence posts that come with a 15-year warranty. Make sure you've got the right size of fence post for the height you want to achieve. For a 1.8 metre high fence, you will need a 2.4 metre high post. If you have to trim the end of your fence post, ensure that you treat the cut end with end seal preservative. Dig a hole roughly 600 mm deep and three times as wide as the post. Before digging post holes, check for any underground services such as cables, pipes or drainage runs. Position the post in place and secure with hardcore or gravel. This aids drainage. Pour in the concrete mix, as per the manufacturer's instructions, so that it just comes above ground level and ensure that the post is square using your spirit level. You may attach a timber batten to act as a strut to hold the post in place while the concrete sets. Smooth down the concrete with a trowel, sloping it away from the post to ensure rainwater runoff. Use the length of a rail to determine the correct location for your next post. Installing your rails. The two common types of rail for close board fencing are Aris, which is a triangular cross section, and Cantrail, which is rectangular with a sloped top edge. In this video we will use a cant rail. Fencing up to 1200mm in height requires two rails and above this height at least three rails. Cant rails are to be fixed by screwing them into a square post. There are three methods to fixing rails which will result in the boards either finishing flush with the posts or on the inside of the posts. Face fixed to posts. Fixed between posts and rebated into the posts. In this video we fix between the posts. Rails should be positioned a maximum of 150mm above the ground and 150mm below the top of the posts. Ensure any cut ends of the rails are treated with end seal preservative and fix the rails using 75mm screws. When the bottom of the fence meets ground level, a gravel board should be fitted to protect the boards against rot and decay. Fix the gravel board using three 75mm screws at each end and where fitted above concrete or masonry, leave a gap of at least 5mm to aid drainage. Installing your boards. When fixing feather edge boards, you will need to allow for approximately 25mm overlap for each board. For example, a 2.4m bay would require 24 pieces of 125mm wide boards. Ensure the first feather board is installed upright and level. Check every fifth board for level to avoid creeping. 50mm nails or screws are suitable and should be fixed one to each rail. For more information and downloadable how-to guides, take the easy option and visit www.easy-timber.co.uk. It's easy when you know how.